17th of November on the Compete program, we are starting with some weightlifting, um, building up with a power snatch plus squat snatch at some lighter loads. And then once you get to uh, the percentage on, on the uh, your suggested percentage, you're gonna go to every 90 seconds instead. And it's gonna be a two squat snatch every 90 seconds, building to a daily max nine out of 10 RPE, which means, as I've said many, many times before, it should not be an absolute max. So you're not building to failure. And if anything, I would say you have potentially one more rep in the tank. So that heavier set of two, you should potentially be able to do one more rep at that weight to make it a triple if you absolutely had to. So that's gonna feel really heavy, but hopefully technically solid and just finish it on a very good um, daily two rep max. You can either go into the squats or the leaderboard workout next, it's completely up to you. The squats is a bit of a um, pyramid going up in heavy sets of twos and then finishing with a set of four. Um, and the leaderboard workout, turn the light back on. <laughs> <laughs> the leaderboard workout today is a bit of a chipper. Uh, new movement, I'm just testing out some new movements right now that I <clears throat> excuse me, might include in some of my competitions next year. So we're looking at a dual dumbbell burpee box step over and over. That's a big mouthful of a, if you can think of a better name for that, then send it to me. But basically you're doing a burpee holding the dumbbells, you step onto the box and over the other side, and then you step back again. So it's always double the amount of step overs um, to burpees, very similar to the burpee jump jumps that we did um, last week. And I'm just experimenting with these sort of two to one movements and how they fit into the workout. So you're going to do two of those and then you're always going to do the same amount of toaster bar and echo bike and then the the uh, burpee step overs will go four eight six ten so increase in there so it's going to be a real grind of a workout that movement itself is relatively slow um, so try to pick up the pace find a good rhythm have a little bit of time playing around with that movement uh, before you do it, figuring out if you want to do sort of a turning step on the box or if you want to maintain like a lateral step. Um, there's going to be different ways that work for uh, different athletes. So try and figure that out, push um, hard on those toaster bar and keep a solid uh, but maintainable pace on the echo bike all the way through. Uh, to finish off today, if you want to, you have the optional piece of some uh, rope climbs and hands on push-ups and then just some shoulder accessory at the end.